Let's see what we could do out of this. Uh. Oh, right. Much better. Hopefully that'll be acceptable for this. Except, what am I saying? This was different. This one's going to look a little bit better for things to be seen. Even Shinky? Dang, these releases are serious. Telling him on this situation. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Andrew Zimmer and Walt Game Kitchen? What the heck? Tony Storm acting weird. Thirty-seven, and we're making this shit fun. All 
Alright, you can do that. Good for you. Puppy! Oh, sweet itchy bone with them. Major League, nice. Dang, Vidal. Of all the folks, I would have never imagined Shelton. Love the wrestlers in Japan. Don't mind the background. Spotum game. Alrighty, here we go, folks. Hi. A little bit more bang for your buck in the background, as you can see. Holy crap, I got a lot of things in my wall. Anyway, we're going to continue playing Shadowrun. The usual stuff. Let's see what we could do this time in the world. That's right. We got, we have Phantom now. He's part of our permanent team already, and that was fast, actually, if I can be honest with you. I never thought I was going to get a, a teammate that fast real quick, and he's very happy to be here, I guess.
You got the long coat. We need to get you with the better outfit. Good thing we had enough for everything. So. And probably thanks to Phantom, we'll have the best of times getting jobs done. Sorry if I'm not uh, talking too much. I'm a bit tired, but I wanted to make sure to apply some good old-fashioned content for you today so I continue forth and not giving up. But as you can see in the background, I got some neat art. But sooner or later, it's going to be switched with something even better, hopefully. This entrance is to the Hollywood Correctional Facility. You the runner said from Johnson? Oh. There we go. We gotta give them new clips and all that good stuff. Domo chum! I finally got me my Popeye's secret recipe. Well, that extra crispy. So everything's turning out to being a okay. All I'm doing right now is. Ooh, the brain eaters. I'll give us some. That'll give us some more leeway of good stuff to happen. Now, as a good reminder, folks, you don't have to go in there and kill them. All you gotta do is go in there, slot off frag face, and leave. But as a good reminder, though, folks, you got to do that only when you have another person along with you. If you try to go in there alone, prepare to be shot and unalived. It's educational. No. M no 2500 or 25. No. That's better. All right, let's see what we got to do. We got to kill 20 of them for 100 bucks each. So, Phantom, what do you like to st uh, take? Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> I didn't get a chance to speak what I had to say. Oh. Here we go. Phantom! He's over there with his eyes crossed, being like, You got any pico de gallo? Oh, that sounds really good right now. Tacos. Tacos, tacos, tacos. Taco Bell, please sponsor me. I beg of you. I want your grilled cheese burrito back, please. Por favor. I don't know why. It's so tasty to have the cheese, you know, pa like paper melted cheese. 
on top of, you know, the burrito instead of just being all inside. I think that's the best way to go with that. Ugh. Give me the nose. person to follow me yesterday a couple of people to be exact so hopefully we can keep on going with the following situation seems like everything that was odd yesterday uh, everything is working again my tip jar is or my jar is there my dogs are barking like But it's, it, this is fine. I love this game. I mean, some say that, you know. A lot of folks believe just because it's your favorite game, it shouldn't be the best to deliver. But, eh, I'm hard-headed. I would rather show off this game because of how good it is. And how it helped fund GoFundMe funds for uh, Shadowrun Returns and the other two uh, predecessors of the Return Saga. Heck, apparently everything from Joshua to to um, everyone else seems to me that they're all intertwined in the same universe. Yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit better when it comes. Oh, yeah. Beat the tarnation out of them. Yeah. I'm going to go and see if I can take down a couple of more. See if that'll be the full maximum capacity. Oh shit, Lady Vamp! Alright, yeah, it's time to go. I think we've, we've very much so successfully got, um, the rest of it going. Both of them have eight... I need to start raising up a little bit my etiquette and I'm gonna use the rest on electronics you on the other hand I'm working on your body and your strength man I really need to work on that fan of mine the orc gang fine two <laughs> two very special do I don't know who I'm gonna have as my third I would love Stark but I need a magic user Slaughter, frag face. Well, shit. Ah, and my 
other one worked too. Wild Wiggly Tough has appeared. Again, to uh, again, I actually liked the um, Scarlet and Violet uh, DLC. It's just like yeah, like um, yesterday. What I didn't like much about the storyline was how both the brother and sister from the Blueberry Academy spoilers, by the way, um, how their personalities differ, because the sister is brash. Sassy, very xenophobic. If you don't know what that is, she is afraid of the. Uh, she's a. She's got a fear of outsiders. But then, and then her brother is very kind, quiet. Almost sounds like if she he was bullied by his sister, a lot, and everyone else. So what pretty much. At the end of the game, we then f find that the sister ends up uh, warming up to the idea of no, no longer being xenophobic and allowing, you know, people to come and see the island to see, to get to know them. And I wouldn't blame her for. Or the fear. You don't know if they're there for good intentions or bad intentions. I don't know. But. I love going to other places and countries and learning cultures and all that good stuff. That. And uh, pretty much wanting everyone to come here to learn many different melting pots of lives here. I'm a welcoming man. I always have been. I love... I love it all. But, um... The brother ends up becoming jealous, resentful, and started to go a little bit to a darker side of himself. One, because he was bothered that your character was he was beginning to think that you were better than everyone else that it wasn't right that you ended up being the hero of this whole entire establishment and not him and he wanted to help the ogre and we just learned about the ogre not too long ago and all of a sudden I was being entrusted with the little guy and it's like, well, geez. He started showing a little bit more selfishness, a little bit more um, stuck up towards himself. And his uh, want of being better than your character became an unfortunate obsession. Meaning that he was going to do everything he could to absolutely better you in any aspect of life. And I'm like, whoa. So... And at the end, you know... They're both going back. We're getting along with uh, Carmen or Carmine because it's C A R M I N E. That would usually spell Carmine, but I still think that they're pretty much trying to call her Carmen, which is a okay with me. But, um,. Sometimes a misunderstood little lad can suddenly start getting angrier and angrier by the minute because nothing's going his way. And that's especially what happened with uh, Kieran, or what his sister called him as Kiki. Damn. 
clips that I use. And I guess in the second uh, DLC is going to continue the whole story. And the, I guess the legendary or the Pokemon. mythic Pokemon will be the Gargalagapus uh, turtle. Pokemon. Which I'm actually shocked because I... And this is kind of dumb of me, if I could be honest. I thought that um, Scarlet and Violet are going to get, we're going to get separate DLCs. Scarlet getting the other one with the turtle, or Violet getting the one with the turtle, and Scarlet getting the one with the teal mask. But the teal mask is its own story, and so is the other one. And it's like, wow, okay. Cool. So I'm very hopeful that a lot of good things end up happening of this. Because I'm very interested in that turtle. And from what I've learned, Flygon will be there. Hurry up and give me Flygon. Ouch. I really need to work on your gunplay. That's for sure. Seventy. Let's go. Wow, those couple of runs from uh, for the orcs were the best decision of my life. That's for sure. You glimpse someone taking your picture with a hollow cam. The person quickly disappears into the crowd. It was a dwarven man with one cyber eye and a boot. A robotic boot so that he can run fast while having a limp or gimp. Gimpity dippity dock. You enter an abandoned building. Ghouls tend to gather here. Packs of them, waiting for some fresh meat. Entering the foul place, you smell the stench of rotted flesh and hear the sound of movement. Dot, 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 dot. So, if you would ask me what I recommend, would I recommend the DLC for Scarlet and Violet? The first one? Yes. It's fun uh, being able to go to a different place that is, if that is big, if not equally big, like uh, the main Paldean uh, region. It's worth it for the story, because you'll get four new legendary Pokemon, a bird, I don't, I don't know if he's a dog or if he's supposed to be um, like a gorilla or something. Or bear. And a little monkey. Monkey Dory. Okie Doki. Or Okie Doji. And Frezendipity. Serendipity, Okie Doki, and uh, Honky Dory. They were named after. I really liked their typings. <clears throat> Instead of them being dragon, you know, mainly typically dragon, this time our three legendaries of this pack were poison types. Representing the toxicity out of the three evil duos. Or the three evil doers, excuse me.
And you're probably asking, how are they evil? Well, apparently the story... Uh, apparently the story goes out of this whole entire scenario is that... O the ogre or ogre pawn was um, the friendliest and the cutest mythic I've ever seen in my entire life. Was made fun of and was misunderstood due to the fact that the other three who are whom are the legendary types made fun uh were treated as kings and a queen and so what had happened was ogre pawn disappeared into obscurity while the three legendary types supposedly died protecting the island. Only to find out that the three legendary, supposedly likable, well-liked Pokemon ended up being the evildoers out of this whole entire scenario. And basically caused havoc. And bullied the little on uh, the poor little ogre. And so it was your job to prove to the people that Ogre Pun was as good of a Pokemon as we claim it. And um stop the the three bad Pokemon. Kieran, as always, felt like he wanted to steal your spotlight. Now, I don't know what's worse. Not having a voice when your, sis when your older sister is trying to take lead of everything. Or the fact that Kieran, throughout this whole entire thing when he was bothered, wishing that he was the hero kept on being invalidated because we were being uh we were the ones being depend a bit uh depended on taking care of the situation I don't know which one is worse to be honest come on Ugh. Venom's like, Joshua, are you alright? I like powdered milk. Here we go. I just can't wait for the other one. I want to get that, um, turtle. I like turtles. Especially, I think that they're going to start introducing that the terrestrialization came from this specific turtle. Which would be an interesting theory because that, to me, that would basically mean that all of the theories that the original professor from each game were wrong. That it wasn't from the crater as for say, it was specifically created by this specific turtle. Now, that makes me wonder. With Ogre Pond being introduced and Ogre Pond being your Pokemon now, would that count Ogre Pond being a mythic type? I wonder because I don't think that a mythic a mythical type was introduced here yet. And so with this being said, that basically makes me wonder if Algrapun and this Garpalos are supposed to be the next one coming for the mythic uh, side. 
If it's the case, then that basically means that Scarlet and Violet are the first games to introduce two mythical types instead of one mythical type being created each and every game. Which, cool. Let's get a rest, Phantom. Eighteen, holy smokes, dude. Holy shnikes. Oh, no kidding. You're having trouble with weaponry. You're... There. Hopefully that'll work for you. Sweet. I can talk my way out of things if I need to. That abandoned building. Why do I keep on hearing sounds in here? Nah, probably just the wind. <gasps> Wait, who are these? Uh, Phantom! I'm alright, bud. Cool, welcome back. I might find me a job here soon. I need to stop effing around. If I could do this, I could do anything. No matter how hurt I am. Gosh, where are everybody? I love the fact that I start out with a six on my uh, firearms with Samurai uh, Joshua. Let's go. I got your stuff right here, mate. Maybe I can put some speed onto this. I know a place where we can go to actually level things up on my, the cyber deck. I'm sorry, but I couldn't take mine. What if didn't do easy? I need a challenge.
For now, Josh, this'll do. Maybe we'll do better on the cyberspace work. Phantom, you did great for me the last time. Let's keep on at it. And then Phantom asks what everyone in the future would possibly ask. What the hell is a radio shack? They were very famous back in the 90s and the thousands, but this is 2058. What the heck is it? And here I thought they were, with the WWE here, I honestly thought they were going to just simply do, um, cuts from the staff line, the employee line. And lo and behold, I find out that a lot of very good folks were released and I'm saddened that Dov Ziggler was one of them. All I can say is to everyone that was once there for a very long time, thank you for your time. Hopefully, you'll find other places to go for wrestling, if n or if not, I hope that you'll be able to find better places for you to to do things for your time. Much prayer to you guys. My thoughts and prayers go to everyone. Or gang! Phantom, we almost messed up, bud. I know. It was difficult. Why do I keep on giving him a British voice? Slot off. The only reason why I'm not hurting you too much, sir, uh, is because you haven't shot down our team. I appreciate you letting us live in peace and harmony. But I'm still telling you that we're doing whatever the hell it is we want. So slot off. Bullshit. I thought I was going to do this really fast, but I, it wouldn't make good content, but like two different videos or something like that. So I was like, that idea can piss off. Anyway, hope every one of you guys are having a nice day. I... And trying my best to continue on the best content fun I am uh, bringing. And as a good reminder, I have a YouTube. Go over there and look at the archived videos that I've streamed from past to present. And more coming along the way in the future. So that you can be caught up on all content and information coming from me. Hmm. Do I need more speed or is it still, is it asking for me to evolve my computer to do more? Let's check it out. Yep.
Huh. Oh. Okay. I keep forgetting. I gotta save. Save! Exciting. One of these days, this game type right here will fall true to everything that what Johnny Mnemonic back in the 90s was going to show us. That we're going to do shadow rides behind a piece of machinery. Well, with them, their machinery is... I think goggles up. I'm not sure, but... I know for a fact that they were vastly close to Shadow. Run accomplished. We did it. Ooh. Ooh. Well, what do we have here? Are you sure there was nothing of interest? I got a couple of things. Show me something good. I don't know. But we did it. <laughs> Oh, get back here! My camera! I want to talk to your manager! Let's see. 300. Useless. 1K. That is badass for the beginning. That's actually pretty good. Good job, Phantom. You may not think that that would be much, but... 1300? Heck yeah. And here we go. Brain Eaters to Xiao Wase. Nuke Plant. The nuclear of nuclears. Trying to keep everything all under control with that type of situation. You know how dangerous things get half of the time? You never know. A brain eater struts up. So you're the mule they sent for us. Here's the stuff, now get mule. One suggestion to the creator of this ROM hack. Maybe we should get a newer picture or change a color palette swap uh, towards that. I understand it may be difficult to do. No hating on that. Looks like I have a matrix run for you. The expenditures. So financial? Financial? You are not in a run. You are in a foot chase. I, 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 I. Okay. 
Maybe it's in the same place. Oh, that is just looking spectacular. Oh my goodness. I'm liking this. Everything about this. So much better in the way now than it was before. So a barrier. If any inform if any alert node goes by and if there's a passive alert, that will turn to level four and now it would be in deep doo-doo. And as we see, it's the same node. Do we have anything else? Come on. Come to Budhead. Yes. Ooh, uno ma, uno ma, come on. No. Boo. I got the stuff, let's go. Let's go see R Roscoe, Roscoe. All right, fine. All right, let's see what we're going to get. 1,500, 2,500, 2,800. Save the crap out of that. That was great. Started off pretty good. Getting even better. Phantom. You are a ghost in the Matrix. <laughs> that left me in a good mood. Oh my gosh. I did not know I was going to actually get that much, really. It's crazy. Yay! We did it! We got the package! We got licorice sticks. Now I can do some serious fixing. I don't think these are licorice stick. No. I no want them. Hollowed Peters. Let's go. Now with this ROM hack, what you don't know is that the Halloweeners switched with the i5ers and the i5ers to make them seem so dirty, evil, they decided to call them the Brain Eaters. They, the ROM hacker, uh, the ROM hack mod creator of this game. I just wanted to talk. Guy automatically came throwing a grenade at me. Or we're just going to pretend that that was a, um, a cop, you know, and that that place was a beaten down old restaurant.
Ha ha. We got something there. I'm sorry, but Phantom, no. Yes. Ruger Superhawk, along with that. Here we go, taking down some ghoulies. As a good reminder, any vampire or ghoul, they're not dead. They transformed into vampiric or zombies by way of a virus. They do have the decaying aspects and they do still crave the things that they need to survive. But they're not feral, but they can be. I would have definitely called this the Ruger Superhawk. God, sometimes the timing of... Getting them to spawn can be so dumb, if I could be honest. Because either they're there to give you a couple of minutes of your time, or we're going to be in here for like what feels to be years. Cannon, hey, how you doing, buddy? Ah, it hurt. Yeah, same here. It all, it also sound. Oh. This game is called Shadowrun. It was made back in 1993, 1994. And it was based off of uh, the pen and uh, paper game. But there's another game back in 93 on the Super Nintendo that was based off of a novel uh, of uh, Shadowrun. In this game, we have a guy named Joshua, which is on the upper right hand side of me. He is going after a bunch of assailants that killed his. Uh, brother in an ambush in a wilderness and he just simply decided that he took all of his money that he saved up came over to Seattle and wanted to take revenge now the deeper lore of this game will make it very interesting and that is this is in 2058 and um, the United States, Japan, and Canada combine their forces together to be known as the UCAS, United Canadian Amer Indian States.
They abolished the dollar bill. They abolished the, the yen. And they abolished the Canadian dollar to create a new currency known as the new yen. N-U-Y-E-N. Fun uh, fact, my father, believe it or not, um, in a funny way, thought it was still yen, but the N and the U were silent. And I'm like, I don't think that is, I don't think that's right, but you know what? I ain't arguing with you. Yeah. That would be the close pronunciation of that situation right there. Basically, when... But, in latter years, as you can see, this is almost somewhat cyberpunk-like. Because, with Deckers, as you can see, Phantom here, he's wired up. He's got a little computer like a keyboard called a cyberdeck that he goes on. Yeah. The Yaller. That would have been something interesting. But I do believe that Shadowrun has been around since the late 80s. Like, I believe 1986. But then they decided to, uh, the pen and paper version, mind you. But then, um, around the early 90s of 93 and 94, they made a Super Nintendo and what we're seeing right now, the Sega Genesis, uh, version of it. So, Magic had returned back in 2018, or a couple of years ago. And, um, there was also something called the goblinization virus where uh, like five humans would end up going to sleep and waking up to transforming into an orc or a troll or you'll lose your stature because you've become shorter to be turned into an, a dwarf And so, now, in this timeline, we've, they've got cyberware as well. You can get your arm cut off and get it replaced with a robotic one so that you can do many better things with, with that arm. Uh, you can break your legs and possibly get springs in them. Spring devices. Hell, you can replace the skin on your chest for dermal plating, for goodness sake. To get better armor and possibly up your strength. The future is... If I could be, if I could be perfectly frank, the future right now is... That's what's happening. Oh my, what 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 are you thinking about over there? Hmm? I mean whatever you're thinking, you're possibly not wrong. You don't have any context for Seattle, oh Now, what you're about... <laughs> okay. 
Man, they're releasing some of the new kits now. Oh. Welcome back. It lets me know about commercials now. Come on. Come on. No worries. Oh no, a tar paper. What you see here is called the Matrix. Yes. It is what you think it is. The Matrix is like the interwebs that pretty much you go inside with your Decker and you try to take things. Oh yeah, they probably have some similarities to them. You never know. But honestly, the similarities stop when... Um, future renditions of this game came like uh, Shadowrun Returns uh, Dragonfall and Hong Kong it instead of a sandbox RPG it turned into a uh, uh, turn based RPG I'm probably not going to be able to uh, get past this Let's see. Nope. And Phantom is now depressed because he couldn't slide through the through the CPU, also known as the central processing unit. <laughs> unit. Oh God. But yeah, for years this has been one of my favorite games for a long time. I've always, I always loved this game ever since I was a kid. Um, as a kid, mind you, I never understood how to get out of the first area. And then all of a sudden, it was all because you had to pay your brother's late fees in a hotel. Killer. Yeah, I still haven't had a chance, and I might look up uh, trying to get uh, Fantasy Star 2 so that I can play it and possibly stream it. I like those grindy games. I don't know why. It's one of my faves. There was another game that I liked that I played in my past was uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. And yes, the game was based off of the, uh, the movie. Oh, much better. Much better. Oh, oh, 
Wait a minute. Hold up. There we go. I'm I am trying to get back into the streaming world because there was a couple of times where I took a unexpected hiatus. I didn't want to, but I was I admit this and I'm ashamed of it, but I was burnt out. Massive burnout. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta get myself back into this. So here I am. Come on, don't lie to me, give me some. Yes, fuck. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. Passive alert, you could pass of these nuts. <laughs> Ooh. Project acquisition. Nobody expects Spanish acquisition. Maybe they could turn Br oh, maybe they can turn Jay Uso bad over at Raw and then team up with Bronson Reed. Wow, my avatar just froze. And I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about my actual avatar just was like, I don't know what to do. Let's see. Paper. Ah, 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 ah. Wow, it's raining. Oh no! Thank you for following the Phoenix Suns! Welcome to the safe space! That made my day! Thank you for being here. We are playing Shadowrun and I am Bullet Angel. I am 34 and I love playing games like Shadowrun and also, you know, modern games like Baldur's Gate, FPSs, RPGs, all that good stuff. Feel free to always 
Enjoy yourself while you're here. I'm doing this for our own good. Don't make fun of me. And I'm just gonna get hurt. Well, whenever we uh, beat the node, we have to actually take information. But when you're in there and when you're in a specific spot, you have to get something specific. Like for instance, here's the current run, Ma the matrix run, Gunderson. My client was wrongfully fired from his job and recently recently and wants to ruin the reputation of his former manager upload this bogus personal record into their management data store and return here for payment so what I did was upload some fake bad reputation to their company of that person that got fired and just took a couple of things along with it so you go to this person here and holy moly, 95 new yen for, um, 95 yollars for the, um, each for the run. And that type of run is a goal run. So whenever you go for a goal run, you have to kill 20 ghouls for the specific amount of money that he is offering you. Useless, useless, yes. You go to this man, Roscoe E. Roscoe, with all of the th the information or uh, data, data that you stole from uh, each um, Matrix's data store. Yep, that's ours. My dogs are barking. <laughs> yeah. Thirty dollars. Hiya. These are the ghouls. We got to kill twenty of them, so eighteen left. Now, if you're ever interested in playing this game, get yourself a, a Gens 32 and just um, play this game, I recommend. It's a very good game. I don't think I'll ever abandon it. Forgot how much that was. I think that's like six or, or five. But yeah, um, dragons have returned in this game, and a lot of mythological creatures have returned. That's 9 or 10 right there. And hell, in, uh, instead of presidencies or um, emperors or any of the, uh, of the notation... Uh, dragons can take over the government and not only corporations for instance Rinraku to Ares have an important um, ruling of a lot of many different places instead of a singular presidency there are corporations now you're probably asking bullet angel bullet angel how do you know which one which uh, corporation is better than the other well 
whenever you are going to get ready to go to the bigger leagues of Johnson's, also known as uh, job offers for Shadowruns uh, runners, uh, a lot of them, for instance, like Fuchi to Mitsuhama are low end because of how much you're being paid to take a package or take someone out of that situation. And, um, then there's Ares and Lone Star, and we're not talking about Spaceballs here. They're the mid-ground, which would possibly give you around 3,000 uh, new yen, 3 to 5,000 new yen a pop uh, of a job, but early, uh, earlier in your shadow running career, do not do Lone Stars, because there's a specific event that could possibly get you in jail, because Lone Star is their police, and um, if they catch you, either you're able to take them down, or you can get a shotgun to be placed on your spine, and you would have to surrender all of the illegal things that you have that are that is protecting your person and get arrested possibly all, all of your money being taken away from you as well and then there's the high end Renraku Renraku is the no BS high end corporation that deals with a heck of a lot of pharmaceuticals, a lot of cyberware, and perhaps a little bit of the government. But be careful. They're the main baddies. Since they're the main huge individuals that deal with many different situations. And so, they are involved with the final boss of whom is named Thun. A jackal spirit that was summoned many years ago and the master of that jackal spirit died. So that left Thun to do everything he wanted to go into like small little tombs to get many different artifacts so that he can become ever so powerful. Oh, it's a gun, it's a gun, oh god, yes. Gosh, I keep on getting better with this. Six, cool. And let's go up my intelligence. Phantom over here, I worry about him for specific reasons. Because his body, his strength, and his charisma are bad. But uh, from the rumor of a lot of these games, is that your main character is more important when it comes to actual... Um, you know, the attributes or skills. But in most cases, you would want to up some things of your partner for instance phantom he needs a better firearm ability because good god but thankfully whoa holy moly and here we go with the jump house now johnson's they go to every bar well, not every bar in this game, but in bars so that you can go and see what you can do for Shadowruns. For instance, Hollywood Correctional Facility, uh, pick up Mike Nanya and uh, go to Stoker's uh, Coffin Motel. Um, there are so many different names that they use for the courier runs. For instance, Mike Nganya. 
and George Kish, which is spelled J-O-R-G-E, which would mean that his name would be pronounced Jorge Kish. And as you can see, with one of those, all you got to do is send that person from point A to point B. That is an acquisition, I believe. Let's go to the Halloweeners. You'll see an interesting thing about this place. Because in the original game, the Halloweeners are in the Redmond Barrens. But they were moved over going to downtown Seattle. Which... What is weird about this game, uh, about this ROM hack, or the game in general, is that they've taken away the state's names like Washington, Colorado, Denver, all of those, in place of just calling it Seattle UCAS. For instance, Tokyo UCAS. Or London, Ontario UCAS. No, oh, you get it. But, shh, that's what happens in these parts. Oh no, I just got here. Stop. Help. He touched me on my no-no square. I don't like that. Little Chiba 2, jump up, jump up, house. That, that... Pen and paper, that would have sounded a lot better. Yep, no, no spot. What, what, what? They were just right there. I mean, just sit. They were like, hey, they just got there. Get them. But they're known as the brain eaters. Formerly known as the i fivers Uh-oh. There's a sudden disturbance up ahead. You... Lady! If you wanted a picture, you should have asked! And your number. Don't spend that money all in one place. 40 new yen? <laughs> Thanks a lot. More like four bucks. Four dollars and... Fifty cents! Come on, Josh. We gotta, we gotta get to our, uh, we we gotta get to our place before they t uh, come over here and touch our no-no spot. Death by snoo snoo. She always it. No, here they come. Get over here. I'm going to get you. I'm going to... Oh, shit. I know, right? Yes. Oh, shit. What you doing? Oh, God. Hello, Mom. It is I. It's right there. It is I. And when you get a chance, look behind you. Whoa! Right on. Oh, look at that. I know, right? A lot of new stuff. So, how y'all people doing? I, I'm doing in great. In the other world. I, I'm, I'm great. So, how y'all digging this stream? Don't kill me. Well, I don't think they're going to pay me enough to kill you on the stream. So, you know, whatever. This is Mama yelling at you. If you're a wrestling fan... I'm upset right now. That's the topic of the day, my people. How the hell they fit to pay back all these people that were entertaining us and put their body, you know, on the line, and they're just going to let them go? A uh, goodbye package? Nah, uh-uh. This sucks. Trust me, if I was released, I would have grabbed me like a 12-pack. Today was a bad day for the wrestling guys. But you know what? In a positive mode, you know, now they can go wherever they want to. Oh, yeah. You know, they may not make a lot of money, but they'll be happy. 
They were released. They have no uh, a ninety day no release clause. That's fine. That's fine. They could do something else. They, if not by wrestling, they can get a, a a part in a movie. They can do something. So I'd rather have them do that than being the damn slave to McMahon and his new UFC cronies. So with that being said, you um not UFC UFC slash WWE whatever the freak they named that company. Uh, uh, it's called TKO. Well, yeah, I'm, I like to TKO their asses. Oh my god! Yeah, with this one, see. That's right. I tell you what, sometimes life is tough, but you gotta turn around and make it work. I have to shit. Well, wipe that ass then. Wipe that hairy ass if you're gonna take a shit. Mom! What? Well, you done said it, you gotta take a shit. Well, I'm telling you, wipe it. <laughs> I had spoken. Alright? So, as I'm wearing my MJF shirt right now, see? Uh -huh. MJF shirt. I like them. I like them a lot. But talking about like it a lot, I like Mortal Kombat a lot. Mortal Kombat! Ba, 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 ba. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. I got carried away. That's I got right. carried away. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I got carried away for a second me. there. <laughs> you have no help. It's all downhill from here, son. I'm sorry. I know. No food. No uh, water. Just meat. Just no meat. No meat. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you um dog food. From the can. Oh, hell no. Yeah, it's got all the nutrients you need. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm finna leave this joint. But I'm gonna tell you what I tell you every time I see you guys. Okay? Please. If you can't do something nice for someone else. You don't have to give them money. You don't have to touch their private parts or nothing like that. A party? All you gotta do is, um, you know... Just turn around and, and help someone, you know? Sometimes opening uh, a door or turning around and what? And getting a little old lady's bags and carrying it to her, to her car. I'm a little old lady. So if anybody can help me like that, I would, man, it would make my freaking day. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I should do streaming too. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe George and I doing a streaming thing. Uh, I don't know. It, it depends. We'll, we may start streaming on, I don't know. But um, besides that, y'all be kind to yourselves. And um, remember that Stay away from the damn news. It depresses you, it gets you upset. Surround yourself with positive people. And if they get too negative on you, keep them from afar. Because you'll find out that your day will be better. I, I like that. Okay? Yeah. So, y'all be blessed. Yeah. Remember, Mama Bullet loves you. And... Why is he doing that with his head? I have no clue. Oh, he's not going to do the dirker 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 <coughs> thing? Mm. I cannot believe him. I cannot believe this boy is mine. But you know what? He's a good guy. He's a good guy. All right, my friends. Enjoy your game. Enjoy your stream. And uh, we'll see you at another time. Salute and peace out. Anything, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Commercial!
Wow, so Mama Bullet is here. Or was here. She's part of the team. Welcome back. That was quite unexpected. Yes. That was Mama Bullets, my mother. She's pretty cool. Her accent is, uh, New York. And not only New York, but, um, Puerto Rico as well. Latina. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. Sometimes I would say she's very humble because she doesn't pay attention to, you know, if she's got charisma or not or anything. Oh, yes, she is. She is. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. 125, what the? I know. <laughs> no way, that's awesome. I definitely will. She fleed. <laughs> We're going into the ghoulies. Look at this. But yeah, I have a little, I have a little goal in mind for myself, um, but I don't know what could happen after I would try to max out this su sub goal. I'm trying to get myself to 10 subs. I'm learning the little goal situation that I'm trying to put myself under or if anything and just trying to make challenges and all that good stuff knowing Ma uh, knowing mama bullet uh, she would definitely uh, try to see if she could try to do something like this uh, she's done a lot of recording uh, of herself on Facebook and uh, on her phone, so I really do n think that she's got the char uh, the charisma to do everything. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Hmm, that may give me an idea somehow. I need to talk to the family with that, see if they can, if they want to join in on this. Knowing my father, if you don't remember P Professor Papa, uh, he was a part of my streams as well. The reason why he has barely been uh, in my streams right now is because he has, they just recently changed his scheduling, he became a supervisor. And so he, they literally are, they have literally turned him into a night shifter. He's got graveyard shifts. So he doesn't get out of work until like one o'clock in the morning, our time. So pretty much he has not been able to join me in support of uh, the channel. So... I am, however, I am truly sorry that I've 
not been remaining consistent on my streams as of late. I'm trying to find ways to bring different games into my repertoire. I uh, tried Blasphemous. And um, I'm going to continue Blasphemous. But I need to try to find some more energy on my part. Because Blasphemous is a really hard game. Uh, if you don't... I, I'm i sure, uh, uh, Canon, that you have heard of Blasphemous. I... I, um... If you haven't, I nicknamed it God Souls. Because it's talking about godliness, the miracles, prayer, all, um, all of that stuff. So I called it Godly Souls. Since it's part Metroid, uh, Metroidvania and part uh, Souls-like. However, the bosses are so neat. I did defeat, um, oh my goodness, I, I don't even remember the names. There were some of them that I had to defeat behind, uh, camera because they could get rather tricky and very frustrating to face. Shia Wase. Nuke plant to Boris's greenhouse. Hmm. Why is it every time mom joins? Yeah. It's like every time. Really? And in here, it's a freaking nuke plant. So you're telling me it's pronounced happy nuclear plant. What's so happy about that? I'm so, I'm so happy I could explode. <laughs> I don't get it at all. <laughs> That's insane. Ah, so cool. Oh, oh my. Oh, by the way, this is the leveling up situation. So, all of these up in the attributes pool, their maximum is six, except for essence and magic. You have to be a shaman or a mage to have that happen, to, to be a six. And then everything down here is at a 12, but hold on. If you get your firearms, if you max your firearms out to 12, then these will turn to 13, which that's a glitch in the game that they did not fix. A Decker, which is your computer guy, their main focus is electronics and computers and also firearms. And the Shaman and the Mage both focus on magic. But however, in the returns, they switch that up a little bit. Uh, Shaman. Actually, in here as well, Shaman create their magic by way of totems. And a lot of totems are based off of animals or items. So, for instance, you could be. You can have a spirit animal of an octopus, a rat, a gator. A bear. Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised if there would be a spider. But 
but um you develop nature's magic that way and then there's mage where you can force elements to your control to use magic for instance let's um let's go over here real quick since you're here Ganon. this is ricky one of my favorite uh shaman however he's the worst shaman in the game he is cowardly he would rather hide than to try to face anybody but in the rom hack they made him somewhat capable of himself to use magic but in the original game his magic is at a three meaning that the reason why he cowers a lot is because his magic sucks anus Koyo. But God, Japan has better 7-Elevens. I've, uh, do know, I've been watching a guy by the name of Mike Chen, uh, Strictly Dumpling, on YouTube. Uh, check him up, shout out to uh, him. Uh, he, go he went to Japan a lot of times, downtown Tokyo, to many other of the provinces. Oh no, Phantom's out of bullets. And their 7-Elevens are spectacular. They have a microwave where you can eat stuff. I just learned that FYE, or for your entertainment, sells some of the international stuff. And we also have a place called The Boxed Lunch. It's an anime store. And I'm like... Holy wow. International flavors. Like, for instance, I found a Lay's potato chip bag that, um, it's in its normal, um, pronunciation, but under it, it says Super Barbecue. I feel so bad not being able to get it. That's for sure. Because barbecue chips are my favorite. <clears throat> I've always been interested in other countries anyway. No matter where, where it is or their walk of life, I have always been interested in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, my cousin has a boyfriend that's from Germany. He actually came to Florida to visit her, and I got to absolutely meet the young man, and that was awesome. Heck, he, he gave me a present of delicious cake. German chocolate cake. And apparently, from what I understand, German chocolate is dark chocolate. But at the same time, it's not dark chocolate because it tastes like milk chocolate. Let me run that by you guys again. It's dark chocolate. The German chocolate is dark. But it's not the same as the better dark chocolate that we have here. It was very sweet and very, and they say it was flavorless. I tasted the flavor out of it and it was really good. Good God. To meet a cool person like that again. That would be an awesome thing. That's for sure.
we have been we have been doing very good and making beautiful progress in this game I've got to say this has been fantastic and in this game I do believe that an elf's attributes charisma attribute is supposed to be an eight because of how beautiful they are oh shoot a mill tank a jump house okay cool what did I raise up again Did I raise up my negotiation? I really think I need something else other than my negotiation right now. Because right now, the way that it looks, six should have been the mainstay of that situation. But yeah, I'm going to try to play a, uh, Baldur's Gate and try to stream it as best as possible. Because right now, what's interesting is that Baldur's Gate, in comparison to Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, you could create it to be a top-down game like it is, like it was, or you can make it turn-based. I mean, which, that's what it is, a strategic turn-based Baldur's Gate. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to get used to this, but they brought the Drow, they bought the Tiefling, I, I'm not used to the Gith Yankee, which... Is a descendant of the goblin? Like a like a big cousin or a big brother to the goblin? And I think somewhere close, I believe, would of the Gith Yankee being used would be in Lord of the Rings. I don't know but even though that I'm a big fan of D&D &D, I didn't hear much of the Gith Yankee so if any of you guys uh, watch this on my uh, YouTube whenever it gets uploaded comment down below what is your favorite race in D&D &D games and why I'll start with mine. Mine would be the Drow. Very, very beautiful. Um, even though that they have been widely uh, popularized as uh, being very evil because of their homeland of Menzo Berenzin or the Underdark, uh, they are very widely known to being evil, but... If you know about Drizzt, he's not evil. The most powerful drow in all of Sword Coast. But mainly the drow. And also, there's Farconia from Baldur's Gate. And there were... Believe it or not, there was a mod for Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 that involved another drow, but she was good. And I wasn't used to that. Because I always wanted to create a drow that was a good guy. Because throughout Baldur's Gate 2, they just led me to believe that, ba that all drow were evil, and that's not true. Because remember, Drizzt. Or is it Dritz? Is it Drizzt or Dritz? Mm. It doesn't matter. I like him anyway. Dang. Brain eaters, rats nests. Come on, Josh. We're doing this many, um, millions of times, but we still got to be careful. We gotta go to the uh, brain eaters to go to the rat's nest. 
I know that, Phantom. Thank you. Hey, I heard you guys were in the neighborhood. Now you're not. <laughs> Do you have the package? My employer thanks thee. I got the pointy ears. <laughs> if only. Oh my, 150, uh, 115 each, meaning that I would possibly get well around... Three thousand? Or two thousand three hundred if I maximize the amount of z of ghouls that I need to take down. So let's go, Phantom! I don't know about this. I mean, come on, these guys are... Why is your voice raspy? <clears throat> I don't know about this, Josh. Uh, oh. oh no, four. 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 Four? Where's my fucking other finger, goddammit? Uh. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Two, making six. Phantom, are you alright? I'm bleeding from my freaking... Blah. That's eight. That's five, making 13? <gasps> Phantom! All right, guys, just, yes, he would, in your sight, he would be dead, but let me let you in on something. There are two different um, health bars. One is physical and one is mental. Physical, you have to be shot by something or something that could uh, deal, you know, physical harmful damage towards you like fire. And then there's mental where a punch will take you down. When the mental status goes down to zero from 100, that means you are unconscious, not dead. But if you're physical health goes down to zero either you will be rendered alive but barely or dead and you would have to be resuscitated back All right, everybody. I think this is a good stopping point. I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Osa Cannon, thank you to the Phoenix Suns for the follow and for Bullet Mama to making her great appearance just as much. I enjoyed it as always. Other than that, folks, this has been Bullet Angel and we will find out in the very end on the next day on what is going to happen next in the world of Shadowrun. See you around, Space Cowboy.